to be a busy weekend in downtown Pittsburgh and a big reason, the Three Rivers Regatta. There is a lot happening on the water and on land starting tomorrow. On the main stage in Point State Park, the live music includes free concerts by Better Than Ezra and the Gin Blossoms. You can see the full schedule of events by going to kdka.com slash links. Now, one of last year's most popular attractions at the regatta is now welcoming visitors. The Ferris wheel is back in Point State Park for this weekend's regatta. Dave Crawley took the first ride this morning. Slowly she turns, seat by seat, high above the regatta grounds. The Ferris wheel is back in town. It's almost 10 stories tall. It's 16 gondolas. And we can haul one to six people depending on size. Owner Garth Nicely of North Carolina says the height is deceptive. When you look up, it looks tall, but look down, and you're like, oh, we're, we're way up here. It's very tall. <laughs> Most people don't look down. I work uh, right over there at uh -huh. KDKA, but this is part of what I call working. Right. That's a hard <laughs> job, isn't it? It's a rough job, yeah. After dark, it becomes the wheel of lights. 1,500 LEDs. In this day and age, the LED world is phenomenal. The twists and twirls that you can do with these uh, computer, you know, activated lights. It's a gentle thrill in spite of the height. It's not real fast. You can just sit on it, relax, enjoy yourself, and you know, your whole family can ride a Ferris wheel with you. The wheel's namesake was Pittsburgh engineer George Ferris, who built the first one for the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. 264 feet high, it could carry 2,000 passengers at once. You're almost a Pittsburgher yourself to, to talk to you, <laughs> it seems like. Uh, yes, from the 70s, I, I became a Steelers fan. He and his son have Heinz Field tickets for December. Taking a spin in Point State Park, I'm Dave Crawley.